Hello everyone, go to abctutorial.com, search your expected search, go to the detail of your post, comment from the expected post in comment box. The most exciting thing is community. Go to community, then post your expected wish like asking anything or search job or search entry or tutorial request. So keep subscribe ABC Tutorial YouTube or abctutorial.com. Stay with us. Hello everyone, welcome to ABC Tutorial. Please keep subscribe in my channel and you can go in my website which is abctutorial.com or you can follow me in Facebook which is uh, facebook.com slash reza korem 20 or my oh, face um, abc tutorial official pages abc tutorial bd i mean facebook.com slash abc tutorial bd so guys uh, in last video i mean 13th number video i showed you uh, that how to remove product already added product from card list uh, how to remove so today i will show you how to to validate or how to um, skip duplicate entry in list i mean um, uh, when we are clicking this button first time one product added in nokia 6 so when again clicked then another nokia 6 added but it should be nokia in one line but product quantity should be true to two or three or four how many times you added so this will be the uh, um, this will be the proper way so this in this 14th number video i am showing you this way and how you make it possible and guys please you can uh, watch my previous video which link already added into my video description or you can um, uh, you can watch my other playlist so keep watching so just follow me now I'm going to few changes here which is add to card method so everything is okay just I, I will change method uh, activity so when first time when none of uh, product is uh, added in is not it added into the list then execute this section but when session at least have one value or not null then it will go for that so our work inside this section right so just follow my activity what i'm doing Here is our card. We ha we have already data some data in card. So our work will be if item dot product dot product ID equal this product ID. If it's equal to this, then like like our remove option, it will execute here remove and it will break so before that I need to, to do a work which is integer previous quantity previous quantity will be item dot quantity so previous quantity I I, I preserved the previous quantity into a variable which is name is uh, which name is pref, pref qty so then I will remove I will remove the uh, item which is which matched with this product and then I will again add this product So I will again already I uh, I already I find a product detail and I will add this product and quantity will be 
quantity will be previous plus one always sorry plus one because our quantity previous one previous was one then we remove previous data and quantity contain in this uh, variable then again add this product but changing the quantity right and then break if you don't use this break it will show an error what you already uh, seen in my last video 13th number video i already faced this problem that's why all, uh, I, I i conscious here so this if if the product equal to uh, if the selected product already exist in this list but if not what will be then what will be then will be this code okay just run the project now okay my project is uh, running and uh, let's see what happened after clicking okay one product added and I again Nokia select and now let's see product uh, product quantity 2 if I click again then product quantity 3 if I cl click again then product quantity 4 and if I click again product quantity will be 5 if I click again product quantity will be 6 and if I click this cross button it will remove right so very nice and working properly so guys this is our 14th number video so guys I request you to watch my next video so I in the in the next video I will show you uh, how to uh, check out this product already added product and how it should work so I will show you in next for uh, next video so till then keep subscribe and keep watching my video so thank you very much